It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince Georgia Schools where we test scientific literacy. Test your own and play along with us today. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Robert Goddard Montessori School, would you please welcome to our show, Ginger Wilkerson, Aforbike Enwike, and Snowden Jackson. And from Rogers Heights Elementary, let's welcome to our program, Rebecca Adaduro. Jessica Jean-Pierre and Nahom Mahari. Now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the question with the easier questions on the left. They're worth 5 and 10. The tougher ones are worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, one of these two good-looking teams will come back to play our game again and perhaps become the last of the final four in this year's elementary competition. So a lot at stake here today. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly. Robert Goddard of Forbeke, would you try your buzzer? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, to Snowden and to Ginger and Jessica. Would you try the green teams? A-OK -okay over there, too. Good luck to you, Rebecca, and to Nahom. Uh, congratulations to both teams already. Rogers Heights, this is your third time this season. Robert Goddard, congratulations for all your good work last year. You got a buy in the first round. Let's have good competition here. We go alphabetically, uh, R-O-B before R-O-G. So, a four K. Let's play the bowl. Um, zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, if you were trying to illustrate an oxymoron, you might use this crustacean. Oh, yes, a, a Robert Gutter. A crab? Not a crab, no. An oxymoron, this crustacean, as in jumbo what, Jessica? Lobster. Shrimp? Shrimp. Jumbo <laughs> shrimp, exactly right, yes. The opposites there. Good, green. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, John Dalton years ago, before the periodic table, came up with a list of elements that included CaO, calcium oxide. We know it is not an element. It today is a grayish white powder that we know of by the fruit that is a green citrus fruit. Robert Goddard. Lime. Lime, yes. Calcium oxide is known as lime. Good. Red. Um, body systems for 10. Body Systems for 10 points is a multiple choice question. Teams, if you donate a pint of your blood, what fraction of blood have you given away? One fourth of your blood, one sixth, or one tenth? Ten. Rogers Heights. One tenth. One tenth, absolutely right. Good answer. Green. Let's give Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, it seems only appropriate that worker bees feed their future queens this special mix of pre-digested pollen known as this kind of jelly. Robert Goddard. What you got? Nectar. Not nectar, no. Rogers Heights, listen carefully to what I say. It seems appropriate that worker bees feed their future queen this mix of pre-digested pollen known as this kind of jelly. Honey? Royal jelly, queen. That's what your clue was there. Go green. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, the biggest science story in 2016 was the discovery of these waves 
predicted by Albert Einstein in 1916 in his general theory of relativity. These waves are created by colliding black holes. Oh, Red. Okay, um, what you got? Sonic? Cosmic waves. Um, uh, cosmic cosmic waves. waves? Not, co not good try. Not cosmic waves. What kind of waves Something predicted waves. by a, a white Albert hole. Einstein? A white Jessica. Hole. Is a white hole? No, gravitational Ooh. waves, gravitational waves. That was the big story last year. That was a tough question. Go green. Um, Five point lead. Body systems for 15? Body systems for 15 points. Teams, for girls, it's normally around age 11. Boys, around age 12. When you go through this period changing, Rogers Heights. Puberty. Puberty, absolutely right. Changing from childhood to adulthood. Go green. Uh, size potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points, teams. If you're doing an experiment and you're testing a drug and neither you, the experimenter, or the people getting the drug knows who's taking the real thing and who is taking the, yes? Placebo effect? Not placebo, good try. Robert Goddard, if neither group knows who's taking the real drug or the fake drug, it is known as a double what experiment. Double blind, double blind, neither side knows. Go green, still in the lead by 20. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. <laughs> is a multiple choice question, teams. The outer shadow of the Earth is known as the umbra, the penumbra, or the corona. Robert Goddard. The penumbra. Say it again. The penumbra. Penumbra, good answer, good. Thank you, Snowden, for your assist. Go red. Um, Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10 points, teams. The mayor of New Orleans said it looked like the houses is in his town had been stepped on by an elephant because an EF3, one of these, had come through. Hurricane. Rogers Heights. Hurricane? No, ma'am. Robert Goddard. Tornado. Um, tornado. Tornado, yes, indeed. The EF scale, yes. Not the Saffir Simpson scale. Go red. Um, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, if you put on your brakes on your bike or in a car, it creates a force. Yes, Robert Goddard. Friction. Not friction, Rogers Heights. That force that is created occurs because what you have done is the opposite of accelerate. Slow down. Stop. What is the opposite of accelerate? Decelerate. Um, deaccelerate? Decelerate, that's right. Deceleration. Good. Green. Um, Thank you, Rebecca. You you put your foot down on that one. Good. Go. Tie score, 95 all. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the diseases known as MERS, M-E-R-S, and SARS, S-A-R-S, are both diseases that affect this R initial body system. All right, Robert Goddard. The respiratory. Respiratory, absolutely right. Yes, uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome and Middle East respiratory syndrome. That buzzer says we've come to the first break. Our score, it's a tight game. Robert Goddard, 115. Rogers Heights, 95. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't you go away. Welcome back. So nice to have you here on Science Bowl today. Yeah, we're headed toward the finale. The elementary final is coming up very soon. It could be one of these two schools among the final four. Before we ask any more science questions, let's find out a little bit about our players. Let's go first to Robert Goddard. And a 4BK, nice to have you back again. You were here last year. And Snowden and Ginger, you were alternates, and it's nice to have you on set here. Tell us about Robert Goddard Montessori, a 4BK. Where in the county is it? Um, in Lanham. In Lanham. And uh, uh, a Montessori school, in a nutshell, how is it different from a regular school? Um, well, like, the teachers try to, like, let you learn at your own pace. So, like, if you're behind or, like, they'll, like, try their hardest to try to get you back up ahead. Yeah. Because like, you know. we all move at a different pace, don't we? And uh, you, you don't want to be forced along or feel like you're being left behind. I think that's a great philosophy. Uh, tell me about your school. Who's your principal? Um, Miss Womack. Miss Womack. And you have a great coach, Miss Jellison, and she is here today. She's helped us judge in the past. Thank you, Elisa, for all your help. And you had two alternates. Who were they? Um, Nathan and Mason. And we'll bring them out with Miss Jellison in a few moments here. What do you like about your school, Robert Goddard Montessori? What do you brag about? Um, well. I'm sure you have great <laughs> teachers. I know you have great teachers, yeah. 
um, I guess our test scores. Or test teachers. scores are great, sure, and that's I'm sure a result of uh, great instruction and good learning. You guys are obviously great students. Uh, someday you want to be a paleontologist. Yeah, before you had an, a whole list of things. And now you want to concentrate on fossils, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you'll be good at whatever you choose. You're a good captain. Snowden, nice to have you here today. Young lady who aspires to be a writer. She's already written some books, and uh, the Ying Yangs, I think, was one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're also a singer. Where do you sing? In the school choir. Yeah. And um, do you have like a Christmas performance or a spring performance? Uh, yeah, we have a winter, we have winter and spring concerts. That's wonderful. Wow. So a professional writer, professional singer maybe and you're how do you know so much about science because you do you must be very good at studying and keeping up on the news I also read a lot of books and sometimes even though I don't know it little bits of science information are in there that sometimes you ask about Yeah, and that's the thing because I try to give little clues in all these questions and you've picked up on them Snow and I can tell you're a good reader and Ginger you're a good reader too you're a big Harry Potter fan yeah yes. have you read them all Yes, I've read them all, and I've read some more than one. Wow, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. It's like good movies. You want to see them again and again. You want to read good books again and again. What do you see yourself doing someday? I want to be an environmental scientist. Yeah, how'd you get interested in that? Well, I just think that global warming is a big thing, and temperatures have been at record highs, and I kind of want to just try Absolutely. to find a way to fix it. Absolutely right. In fact, we're living through the warmest winter we've had in Washington, and many, many, hardly any snow here. Too bad for those of us that wanted snow days, right? Yeah, good to have you here. Rogers Heights, nice to have you guys back again. Jessica, tell us the Rogers Heights story. Um, where is it located? Is it in Bladensburg? Yes. In Bladensburg. And your principal? Yeah, Ms. Bottoms. Wonderful. And the sponsor of your team? Mr. Pippet and Ms. Brown. Yeah, and they're both here today, and they're going to be out in a few moments. And uh, they are just great sponsors. They're in it. Um, they're all in when it comes to the science ball here. We appreciate that. Um, Tell me about the alternates. You've got three alternates. You've got a shadow team. What are their first names? John, Barbara, and Josue. Yeah, they're out there. They're yelling answers, but we can't hear them through the wall. But you don't need that. You know them well uh, on your own. You've done such a nice job this year. Tell me about uh, Rogers Heights. Something good. Well, uh, the good thing is that they like to do hands-on activities, so it's kind of fun, and you get to learn different and those, ways. Those make for souvenir experiences like this. If you're doing something and not just being told something, uh, it stays with you. That's a good point. What do you want to do someday, Jessica? Um, I want to be a psychologist. Yeah, we were talking about that, and uh, you know, uh, figuring out why people do what they do is a never-ending uh, topic. And Rebecca, you feel the same way. You want to go into uh, therapy, correct? Yeah, and tell me about uh, this go-karting you do. Oh, it's just it's just a thing, a hobby I do. I think that's wonderful. And where do you where do you go kart? Um, in Kenilworth Lane. That's nice. How long have you been doing that? Oh, um, not very long. Yeah. What else do you do in your spare time? Um, I play the violin and I like to read books. Wow. What kind of books do you like? I like chapter books. Wow. Well, you have a lot of great interests, and I can see why they put you on the team here. You're a great asset. And Nahome, nice to have you with us today. Tell us the Nahome story. What do you want to do someday? Um, someday I want to be an astronaut. Yeah. Yeah, space travel. I remember talking to you about that before. Would you like to go to the International Space Station? Yes. Yeah, because I know the Kelly brothers, the twins, you know, they oh. recently uh, swapped positions up there. And uh, a lot of physical changes take place. So you know you're, you're taking a risk. You're a guinea pig, but uh, you're a tough guy, right? You willing to do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you do in your spare time? Well, um, in my spare time, I sometimes read books um, and uh, do normal stuff like play normal games. Normal guy stuff, normal kid stuff. Yeah. Any book you like? Um, Just in the flash. Just in the flash. Uh, there's this series, uh, Curiosity House, and then um, there's one series I read, uh, The Shrunken Head, and that's a, a good one. That sounds good. Yeah, that's one you wouldn't want to put down, it sounds like. Keep reading, all of you. Let's get back to the game. 115 Robert Goddard, 95 Rogers Heights. Lots of points to give away, the really tough ones and the really easy ones up there. Go red. Um, science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, recently a space umbrella that was, in, was unfurled in space was based on what art of paper folding? Yes, Robert Goddard. Origami. Origami, yeah, just phenomenal how they packed that in and they folded it so that it opened up ideal uh, perfectly in outer space red um green things for 15 
Green thing's 15 points. All right, teams, let's top, talk homophones, words that sound alike but are spelled differently. A pistol is a gun, but a pistol is also part of a flower. Spell that pistol. Spell it, Robert Goddard. P-I-S-T-I-L. Yes, sir. Nicely done instead of O-L. Red. Um, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. This is interesting. Botanists now think that these flower parts are often darkly colored so that they're warmer to attract cold bees. Goddard. Um, the petals. The petals, yeah. So if you have a dark blue petal, it absorbs the sun's rays and it makes it warmer so a cold bee wants to land on it. Smart plant. Red. Um, zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Teams, uh, animals like horses and pigs, they walk on their hoofs. And people like us, ra raccoons, we walk on the flat part of our foot. But dogs and cats are animals called digitigrade because they walk on their what? Toes. Goddard. Toes. They walk on their toes. Okay. What you got? They walk on their toes. Their toes, absolutely right. Listen to Snowden before because she knows her stuff. Go red. Um, Dateline science for 20. Dateline science for 20 points. Team, sadly, this federal law is now being considered for repeal. It is the same law that saved the bald eagle and the manatee and the black-footed ferret. What law is that? The Endangered Animals Act. We will take that, the Endangered Species Act. Yes, sir, good, go. Um, Dateline science for 15. Dateline science for 15 points. All right, put on your thinking caps. L-I is the chemical symbol for the element. Lithium. Lithium. You jumped in too soon. Robert Goddard, you're right. L-I is the symbol for the chemical element lithium. It is also the Roman numeral for this year's Super Bowl, which is what? Um, 51. 51, that's right, L-I, good. He's having a heart attack over there. Go red. Um, green things for 20. Green things, 20 points. All right, teams, if you look at a leaf, the framework of a leaf has something down the middle called the midrib. It's not a rib, it's not made of bone. It is what kind of vascular vessel? Vein. Robert Goddard. Um, a vein. A vein, that's right, thank you, Ginger. Go red. Um, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points, all right, team. It is very difficult now for the bumper on a car to rust because it's no longer made of metal, it's made, Roger's Heights. No, 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 rubber. Rubber, rubber. Listen, rubber. Go, 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 go. Rubber? Not rubber, no. The material that the bumper is made of, it's not metal anymore, it's made of this, Robert Goddard. Passage ginger. Plastic? Plastic, absolutely right. Composites, fiberglass, good, red. Um, let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25 points. All right, teams, kind of a tough question, but listen carefully. This physical unit, which is represented by the Greek letter lambda, if it is long when associated with light, you have got infrared ones. If it is short, you've got ultraviolet ones. Okay. This unit is the what for 25 points? Um, uh, uh oh. Uh, let's try Roger's height. You need get this when you're back in the game here. The Greek letter lambda represents this unit of light. If it is long, it is infrared light. If it is short, it is Array. ultraviolet. Array? Wavelength. Wavelength. Long wavelengths and short wavelengths. I told you it was a tough question. Go red. Yes, sir. Oh, um, Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor, please. Two-part answer. In the new movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, you would see this beast called a Nundu, N-U-N-D-U. It is an amalgamation, a hybrid of a terrestrial feline and an aquatic creature. Name both. A lion and, and, a, a, and a puffer fish? That's exactly right. Good answer. 25 points. Thank you, Rebecca and Jessica. Go. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. All right, teams. If you add a letter to the second part of this show's name, you will get another name for what body organ? Robert Goddard. The liver. Not the liver, no. 
If you add a letter to the second part of this show's name, you will get another name for what body organ? Bowler? No, you tried. Bowel. B-O-W-E-L, as in bowel, as in bowl. And we were looking for intestine. Another name for bowel is an intestine. Yeah, that was a tough question, but I wanted to make you think. Go green. Um, green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams, if you grow up to be a botanist and your specialty is dendrochronology, you spend your days doing this. Dendrochronology. You spend your days time. doing what, Robert Goddard? Um, I'm look oh, it's time, but no, not um, time. Is it looking at the color of plants? Not the color, uh, no. Dendrochronology. You're spending your days doing what? Um, you spend your day doing... What you think? The word chronology refers to time. You are counting the rings of the tree to find out how old they are. Green, go, Jessica. Dayline science for 25. Dayline for 25 points. It's a visual question again. Look at the monitor. Teams back in 1957, the Soviet Union launched this unmanned spacecraft. Got the world's attention. You can't see it today because it burned up as it came back through the atmosphere. Can you name this spacecraft that started the space race? The Sputnik? It is Sputnik. Nicely done, Jessica. Good, go. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams on PBS recently, recently, Sid the Science Kid raised awareness of this disease that causes Mike. Yes, Robert Goddard. Sorry, um, Zika. Zika, yes, indeed. Good, go. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, the board game Cranium advertises itself as the game that uses your whole what, Goddard? Um, skull. Brain. Not your skull, no. Jessica? Brain. Brain, yeah, green. Let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. Teams, because of the large amount of friction it produces on a jet plane, air can be a real what? Pressure. Drag. Drag, that's it, good, it's a real drag. Red. Um, green things. Don't be oh, beating each other. Oh, we're gonna have a fight over here. Go, a four of a cake. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, recently Twitter took down this mobile app that has the same green thing name as what grapes? Jessica. Vine. Vine, yeah, good, go. Zupray for five. Zupray for five points. Teams, this slang term for germ is also a slang term used for all insects other than those that belong to the order Hemiptera. A four bouquet. Pass it to Ginger. Bug? A bug, that's it, Ginger. You had some good listening skills there. Last question of the game, Dateline for five points. Recently, get on your buzzers. The National Sioux said, bye bye to whom? Robert Goddard. Bow bow. Bow bow, that's it, and with that, Bye-bye to this edition of Science Bowl. We'll be back in a moment with a wrap-up. Don't you go away. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here in the studio. We are proud of all six of our players. Let's give them a hand. Nice job, everybody. Nice job, everybody. Our final tally today is Rogers Heights 150, Robert Goddard 270. So congratulations to Ginger and Avorbeke and Snowden and Nathan and Mason and Miss Jellison. We will see you in the next round. Congratulations. Let's see some big smiles over here. You guys got them. Rebecca and Jessica in the home. You played a super game here today. And look at that shadow team back there. John and Jose and Barbara, Mr. Pit Pit and Miss Brown. You guys are such wonderful sponsors here, and you always are here. It said this great kids. Please keep coming back, and uh, we appreciate you being here today, too. We hope to see you next time on another edition of the Science Bowl. Bye-bye now.